Today's video is a bit less scripted than I usually do, mostly because I just watched Act 2 yesterday. Today I, I needed to vent, I need to get it out of my system because what I watched, what we have all seen in Act 2 blew me away and, and you know, I, I roughly knew what to expect out of Arcane Season 2, but they still surprised me. I think they caught us by surprise. I, I don't think anyone was expecting what we got. I wanted to sort of discuss that for a moment, take a, take a brief moment, analyze what we saw in Act 2, focusing on Vi and Jinx, or I should say Powder maybe, <laughs> just blowing my mind, and Caitlyn and Vi. Now all these characters were in a pretty bad spot after Act 1. Jinx, after her downfall, wanted to die by Vi's hand and she failed. Vi wanted to support Caitlyn in capturing Jinx and she also failed. Caitlyn wanted to capture Jinx, she failed. She blamed Vi. She pushed her away in a very drastic way, chose an easy way out, end of the act, she chose Ambesa Medada's support, exactly what she wanted. Now after that, as we saw beginning of act 2, Vi chose a path of self-destruction. We saw that coming, I knew it was coming, we saw that in the trailer. She was drinking, she was taking part in fights, very brutal fights, mostly spending her days either drunk or passed out. After being pushed away by Caitlyn, I didn't really expect a reconciliation anytime soon. I knew they would get together again, I was sort of optimistic when it comes to that, but I was expecting for that to happen by the end of Act 2, maybe like a slow glimpse into what we're going to see, some good faith on both sides. And then in Act 3 I was fully expecting for them to get together again. But I was sort of thinking that after that horrible fight by the end of Act 1, after the way Caitlyn pushed Vi away, literally pushed her away with her gun, insulted her, I didn't think their meeting again would actually take a uh, good turn. I was expecting for them to be very cold towards one another, especially Caitlyn. Now Jinx. Jinx, once Isha showed her she deserves to be loved, she deserves to be protected, she chose a life away from conflict, which actually it, it seems like serves as a paradox because she did exactly what Vanda did back after the revolution. Her, she withdrew herself from the conflict and rejected the name Jinx and took care of a child that needed it. Caitlyn chose a way of continuing her revenge, going after Jinx. What surprised me when it comes to Caitlyn is the fact that she wasn't following Ambessa as blindly as I was thinking. Final scene of Act 1 suggested that she's going to choose the path of evil, that she's going to be sort of a dictator. And she still is a, a commander, but she is still self-reflective. She's not pro-violence and she's still sort of cautious when it comes to Ambessa. Now being in that situation, all these three characters, under no circumstances would I ever imagine they'd be actually simply able to coexist, communicate. I imagine it would take them episodes to find a place of peace, if at all. I was expecting a continuous conflict. I knew that Caitlyn and Vi would end up together. I knew that Vi is still supposed to become an enforcer. It's in the lore. Caitlyn and Vi are co-working together. They are co-enforcers. So I knew that we would reach that place, but before the, the road towards that place would be a rough one and difficult one. And I was expecting Act 2 to be traumatizing and not something that made me incredibly happy end of the day. Arcane surprised me. It feels like Arcane in Act 2 wrote a love letter. Better. And not just to us, but also to their characters. Arkane treated their protagonists with so much love, it hit me like a train. And I quickly realized that within that entire conflict, the grand antagonism between all the characters, all the three characters I'm talking about here, I'm gonna leave Isha aside for a separate video. I forgot that within these horribly difficult circumstances that they found themselves in, there's still one thing that cannot just disappear, and that's love. Love between Caitlyn and Vi, love between Vi and Powder, willingness to protect one another. I thought Powder is gone, I didn't expect for Powder to be back, yet it seems like Jinx, after having adopted Isha, after taking her in, she also rejected the name Jinx. Jinx is dead. She failed to get herself killed by Vi's hand. Vi withdrew herself from the conflict, not willingly, she was pushed away. I analyzed the final scenes of Act 1 in a separate video, so I won't be repeating myself, but obviously there was so much going on in there, and so many unresolved feelings. It feels like Vi wanted to go after Jinx, either capture her or actually kill her. She did prove that by saying that to Caitlyn, she proved that by letting Caitlyn take the shot. 
But then when Isha showed up and showed even to Vi that Jinx is still worth loving, she hesitated for a brief moment. Now, Caitlyn within that entire scene was absolutely furious, not herself. She was going after Jinx, but then she was also going after Vi for not allowing her to take a shot. Whether she was able to actually kill Jinx with Isha by her side, I think it's not as relevant. Maybe Caitlyn is as good of a shot, maybe she would actually aim correctly and she would get Jinx, but then you'd have to think of moral consequences of that act. Killing Jinx right in front of a small child that clearly cares about Jinx. It would have been an incredibly messed up thing to do. So yeah, we were in a very, very difficult spot with characters messed up and all over the place. Now what Arkane did, the moment Jinx realized that Vander is still alive, she was sort of the reasonable one within the conflict. She was the one that reached out to Vi. Vi reacted with aggression initially, but she was willing to hear her out. Jinx somehow was not antagonized anymore. It feels like the moment she gave up. It feels like the moment when she was ready to die by Vi's hand. She sort of let go of Jinx. When Nisha protected her, she knew that Jinx no longer exists because Jinx is a person that's not loved by anyone. And Powder is now loved again. Vi followed Jinx. They found Silco and Vanda's shelter. And in that shelter, a letter. Letter that was an act of willingness from Vanda to Silco. And that made them reflect. Maybe we could have done things differently. Maybe we didn't actually have to fight all this time. Maybe we made several mistakes, mistakes that can be undone right now. There was this moment when Vi was reaching her hands towards Powder. She wanted to put her hand on her arm. She withdrew, she wasn't ready to do that. And it's only when they finally found Vander, a person that's connecting them, a person that they both loved. It's only then when they realized that they are still family, that they love each other, that they love Vander. They love Isha, a small kid, who's now, I would say, Jinx's child. They acknowledge the fact that it's still their father. Jinx was actually very reasonable, stating that she wants to fix what they once done wrong. Meaning entire act one final episode in season one, when they went to save Vander separately. When Vi didn't trust Powder enough to take her with, which was a mistake. Now they're acknowledging each other's support, they're acknowledging each other's opinion. Arkane blew my mind. They showed us that love is still there, that despite the conflict, they can simply go back to coexisting. There's still unresolved trauma there, of course, there's still a lot to go through, but the sisterhood, the sibling bond, it never really disappeared despite what they were trying to tell us. Within that messy situation, the very basic, the very primal, emotion is still there. Now, I, I cannot really thank Arkane enough for telling us that story and for showing to us something that maybe seems obvious, but I forgot about that. Seeing Vi, Jinx, Vander and Isha hugging, it melted my heart. It only proves how much they care about their characters. Now, I want to move forward and discuss something that's very close to my heart, <laughs> Caitlyn and Vi. Caitlyn and Vi obviously ended in a very bad place after Act 1. They kissed, but like I discussed in another video, the circumstances of that kiss weren't exactly ideal. I don't think it was strictly a manipulation because Kate she put her gun down when she was talking to Vi. You could see her doing that. So it's like she exposed herself to Vi and it was the first time they were actually together. It was an intimate moment and the kiss was, I feel like, led by true feelings. I, I still stand by what I'm saying all the time that they do love each other and that kiss just proved that. Whether Caitlyn was truthful when she was saying that she's not going to change, uh, let's leave that aside because I want to focus on Act 2. Despite the messy events by the end of Act 1, you could still see that Caitlyn was trying to protect Vi. Even when she shot towards Isha, she knew that Isha was trying to pull the trigger. Even when uh, Sevika blew everything up, you could see that Vi was covering Caitlyn. So yeah, they did went their separate paths. I suppose some months passed between Act 1 and 2. It also blew my mind that they so simply went back to supporting each other. Their entire bond ever since season 1 was always about protecting each other and being there for one another. Caitlyn was protecting Vi when Savika attacked her, when she was wounded in a very similar way that she's wounded right now. Vi was protecting Caitlyn on that bridge when Jinx blew everything up. They were both there for each other and their feelings were very primal, very authentic. 
Now, after that breakup, I was really expecting a poor situation. I wasn't expecting for them to meet and be sort of okay with one another. Yet, this is exactly what happened, which I found so surprising. Vi was following Zinch. Caitlin was sort of also analyzing what Zinch is doing, not exactly trusting them. Caitlin jumped at Vi, attacked her, and then was surprised to see her there. Immediately, they went into playfully offending each other mode. When Vi called Caitlin a mongoose, <laughs> then Caitlin was like, what the hell did you do with your hair? Then Vi calling Caitlin cupcake, which immediately broke her. You could see that shot on her eyes what was going on within her. She still loved Vi. And when she found out that Vi is there because she's protecting her father, she didn't even hesitate. Like the entire conflict, the entire quarrel did not even exist. When Vi was trying to approach the camp, Caitlyn pushed her away, again protecting her. When Vi said that her father is alive, they cut away from the scene, but we know now that they went into a uh, full planning mode and they sort of tricked Madada. They tricked her by letting her think that Vi has been arrested by by Caitlyn. Caitlyn immediately shared all the plans when it comes to the camp. It's like all these months apart, they never really happened. We know that Caitlyn was romancing sort of um, Maddie, um, what I would jokingly call a, uh, a sleepover friend. <laughs> don't get me wrong, Maddie is a very sweet girl, absolutely fine, there's nothing wrong with her. I don't think she's Ambassador's ear at all. Having said that, I don't think she also meant anything to Caitlyn. We know that Caitlyn is a game. <laughs> we know that she was sort of inviting girls into her room we found that out in season one we know that she easily captured Vi's heart yeah I suppose that's what she does <laughs> but it's Vi that she's in love with and that moment when they met again just proved that again Arkane wrote a wonderful love letter to Vi and Caitlyn praised their relationship when Caitlyn saw Vander Vi and Jinx hugging. You could see on her face when she was realizing what was going on in there and she realized she cannot be Jinx's foe anymore. Now again, I'm not saying that antagonism between them is gone. Obviously, there's still a lot to go through and a lot to process. But characters that are in a different place right now. Jinx was sort of cooperating with Caitlyn. We finally saw them working towards the same goal. And now that they both know that they love Vi, I don't think they can afford to be on opposite sides anymore at this point. During the final battle, the moment Vi got wounded, Caitlyn rushed to her to take her away, to protect her. She did exactly what they were doing in season one, always backing each other up, always there for one another anytime any one of them got wounded. Arkane is a story about love. Sure, it's a story about antagonism, conflict. There's many, many layers, but I forgot that deep down, it's the emotions that matter, the feelings between the characters. And these feelings are very much still there. They prove to us that these characters, where they're at right now, they moved forward towards another goal. And I couldn't have dreamt of better act to. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. I'll be making a video about Isha's role in uh, fixing powder and vice mistakes that they made in season one. Major shout out to my patrons as well for making it possible for me to continue making the content. Bye guys.